Hi everybody, it's Nina, Beachfront Bargains. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video on what sold for me in, on Poshmark in October. I'm gonna be doing a separate video for what sold on eBay in October. I'm just keeping them separate so it's not a 40 minute long video altogether. Um, overall, October was a very good month for me even though I was um, out of town on a business trip for a couple days and my mom visited for a whole week. I was still able to do a lot of reselling um, and I had a good month sales wise. I, my total revenue after eBay fees and shipping and Poshmark fees for October was around $1,500 I believe. So it's a very good month for me as a part-time reseller. Okay, so my computer here, so I'm just gonna go through some of the sales I had. So starting at the beginning of October, I sold a pair of Kate Spade um, sandals. They were like suede material and they had this floral detail on the back of them. And then they were tie up on the ankle. Um, I actually picked those up at Ross or TJ Maxx or Burlington, I can't remember which place. Um, and I sold them for $75. These were not listed for very long and they got a lot of attention. They're actually bought by someone named Nina. Um, so I gave her a really good deal because that's a pretty cool name. Uh, so this is my name. So they sold for $75. And that was the very beginning of October. My next sale was a pair of Torrid boyfriend jeans, medium wash. I sold these for 20 bucks. These were a thrift store find, so I got them for pretty cheap, I'm sure. Um, if you're not picking up Torrid, pick up Torrid. It sells really well for me and always really quickly. So make sure when you're at the thrift store that you're checking out the plus side sections. Um, and if you can find Torrid pieces, even blouses and stuff, those seem to sell really well for me. All right, next is a pair of Sam Edelman Gladiator sandals uh, in like a tan nudish color. I sold these for $30. These were also um, a find from TJ Maxx, I believe. Uh, so it seems like in the seasons they'll be clearing stuff out. So I got these, I think a month ago and they sold pretty quickly as well. I have another pair and another color. I probably won't be able to sell them for a while because I don't think a whole lot of people are buying sandals right now um, since it's snowing and it's cold everywhere, except here in Florida, but still, I don't, I don't think I'll sell them for a while, but I'm gonna sit on them because Sam Edelman does sell really well for me. All right, my next sale was a bundle. Um, a lot of times at the thrift store, I'll find basically the same item in different colors, all in the same size, so it seems like someone will donate a bunch of the same thing. So I found a bunch of Under Armour shirts, not shirts, shorts, the other day. Um, they were all size small, just like different patterns and different colors. Um, I sold two of them for $30, a green pair and an orange pair. All right, my next sale, this was probably my favorite sale of October just because it sold overnight um, after I listed it. It was a Free People mini skirt. It's like really pretty metallic color. Um, I believe that was a thrift store find as well and that sold for $45. <laughs> I listed it for, at 45 and I did not think in the slightest that I would get $45 for it, but it was bought overnight. So that was an awesome one. Okay, next up, um, this is one of my favorite brands to sell. Um, it doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it always seems to get a lot of attention and it's Topshop. Um, maybe I'm just a fan because I really like wearing Topshop clothes, but it was a pair of some Topshop ankle pants with a tie belt um, in like a burnt orange color. And it seems like that color is really trendy right now. So I try to pick up items in that color and they sold for $28. Okay, um, next up, this is also another really good sale because um, I know I got this at half off at Salvation Army. Um, but it was a Lauren Ralph Lauren um, active zip up jacket with a hood. Um, this is a brand I don't necessarily always pick up. I've had difficulty selling it sometimes, but um, if it looks like it's kind of vintagey or more unique, I'll pick it up. Um, this one was really unique looking and it had a hood and everything and it was a zip, but it's had a lot of detailing to it. I listed this and I think it sold within a couple hours. I listed it for 45 and I got an offer for 28. Um, as long as the return on investment, the ROI is 200%, and considering I probably paid a couple bucks for this, 
28 is fine. Um, I always say I'm in the reselling business, not the storage business, so I'll take any good offer. Um, I don't even bother countering on good offers because it's not worth losing a sale for five more dollars in profit because um, then that's gonna sit in my closet for another couple months and it's just not the business I'm in. So that was a really good sale, $28. Okay, next up, this is another example of finding, you know, someone donated a quantity of the same type of item to the thrift store. This was two, a bundle of two Nike Pro Combat shirts, size small, men's shirts. Also, if you're not selling men's stuff on Poshmark, I have really good luck with men's stuff. Um, so I would advise looking in the men's section as well in the thrift store. But this is a bundle of two shirts and it was $36. One was... Oh, they're both blue, just different shades of blue. And I had them each listed for 20. Um, and I set this person an offer for 36 and they accepted. Okay, next up, um, this is another find from Ross or TJ Maxx, I can't remember which one. Um, just some Under Armour track running shoes without the spikes. These sold for $35. And these did sit for about a month or so, but that's okay. For me, shoes tend to sit a little longer just because everyone has a specific size. Um, but this was still a good ROI for me, so I was okay with this offer. All right. Next is a free people blouse. Um, it was just like a sheer blouse with an, a tie on the neck. And I sold this for $23. And I think this only set for a week or so. Okay. Um, next, another find from Ross or TJ Maxx. It's uh, NYDJ, Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Um, these were kind of like a, a legging and a brown. I mean, they were more like a jean, like a corduroy looking jean. They were technically considered a legging and I sold these. They were new with tag for $40. So that was a really good one. Um, not Your Daughter's Jeans, also not a brand that I always pick up, but I do pick up if it's new with tag or um, if it's a newer style. I find a lot of older styles of Not Your Daughter's Jeans in my thrift stores, um, and I tend to stay away from those because it's a very oversaturated market, it seems, but new ones, um, newer versions, and newer tags I'll pick up. Okay, next up is a pair of Jordans, um, Ultra Fly 2 Zooms, um, and these were a very bright green color. <laughs> um, I sold these for $65. Again, this is another find from um, TJ Maxx or Ross. I think I sat with these for probably a couple months. Um, a couple months ago, I decided to start selling sneakers. Um, so you'll see some sneaker sales popping in and out of my monthly videos on what's sold. Um, I'm not doing it as much anymore because it's not an industry I necessarily understand as well as clothing. Um, and the initial investment in sneakers is a little more than I'm comfortable with right now. Um, oh, but actually next is another pair of shoes. Um, it's Sam Edelman. This is Circus by Sam Edelman. Um, this is just a sub-brand of Sam Edelman. It still sells really well for me. Um, these are another find from Ross or TJ Maxx. And I sold a pair for $37. I actually had, I think, three pairs of these. I have one left and I sold another pair um, actually this month in November for 45, I think. So these seem to be doing pretty well. And it's just like, they're actually kind of cool. It's a white sneaker and on the back there is a flamingo in like rhinestones. So they're a very unique looking shoe. Okay, next is a Nike hoodie. Um, I only pick up Nike when it's something kind of unique or it's something that would be more expensive in general, like hoodies or um, golf pants or there's Nike ACG, I believe, which is a lot of like snowboarding and skiing stuff. I'll pick that up. Not that I find that very often here in Florida, but if I, I have found a couple of pair of pants before and those sold well, but this was a Thermafit um, camo hoodie so it's like the thicker material which is good to be selling right now and this sold for $35 and this was actually a goodwill find okay next is a Zara sweater new with tags um, just a thinner material striped sweater with a turtleneck um, this sold for $25 and this as soon as I posted it had a lot of interest um, Zara does well for me especially Zara new with tags does really well for me Okay, next up is a bundle. Um, 
This is a bundle of four items. So it's a pair of loft jeans, um, an Urban Outfitters cardigan, um, another pair of Ann Taylor jeans, and then a Free People button down. Um, the total price for this bundle was around like 125 without with my 10% discount. I have a 10% discount on two or more items. Um, and then I sent them an offer for a hundred dollars um, and free shipping and they accepted that. So that was a really good sale. I found uh, probably like 25 pairs of Loft and Ann Taylor petite jeans, new with tag at Goodwill. Just one day all at the same time. I think they'd all been donated from the actual store itself because um, they had they were like marked down to very very low prices um and i picked a bunch of those up and they all sold extremely well for me i think i have like maybe three pairs left right now uh, but a lot of times they would sell in bundles because there was a bunch that were the same size so people would buy multiple pairs okay um next up is seven for all mankind jeans so these were the a pocket jeans and they sold for $20. Um, I used to pick up seven for all mankind all the time, but it just doesn't sell for me anymore. Um, the dojo jeans, of course, I'll, if I see those, I'll always pick them up. Um, and the eight pocket ones used to do pretty well for me, but now I just kind of sit on them. And like I said, these only sold for $20, which I mean, I still made profit and everything and that's fine, but I used to sell them for 45 very quickly. And I know I sat on these for a while as well. Okay, next up um, is a joie blouse, um, just 100% silk blouse, and it had like bell sleeves and a v-neck. Um, this is a really pretty like metallic silvery color, and this sold for $30. Um, and this didn't sit in my closet for too long either. Joie for me is kind of hit or miss. It depends on exactly what it looks like and what the pattern is. Um, but this one was kind of plain with the bell sleeve, so it, I think that's why it sold so quickly. Okay, last is a pair of shoes. Again, another find from 2J Maxx or Ross. Um, and these were a pair of Adidas uh, Superstars. These were like a retro 80s with like lace on the sides, um, and they were kind of an off-white color. And these sold, I think, within a month for $70. So I was very happy with this sale. Okay, so that is it for what's sold on Poshmark in the month of October. Uh, I'm going to be filming an additional video on what's sold on eBay just to keep these short for you guys. Um, I tend to sell more on Poshmark currently, but I list everything on eBay and Poshmark. But I think it would also be nice to see what the difference is between what's selling on Poshmark and what's selling on eBay because there are brands that sell on different platforms better. Um, so I think that'd also be nice for you guys to see the difference. All right, so thank you for watching and stay tuned for my video on what's sold on eBay. Bye.